Hello, I'm Simon Pilling, East Asian Art and Interiors. This is my submission for this year's Art Award. It is a writing box from Japan. A writing box is primarily to hold an inkstone, which is what is needed for working with any pen and ink in Japanese calligraphy or writing letters. Over the course of a thousand years, it has been refined into something of quite extraordinary beauty. The intention is that the owner is put into a frame of mind by seeing the writing box and then opening it and seeing a different design inside. So if we look at the outside, what we're seeing here are a willow tree and then crawling through that is a plum blossom. The plum blossom is formed by mother of pearl inlay, uh, which has the most wonderful iridescence when you see it under the, the correct lighting. It's a circular writing box and this immediately tells us that it is something which is alluding to the full moon. And so we're looking at an evening view where the design is glowing in the, in the moonlight. But the true one that really comes when you open it up, and there you see a completely different type of design. This is a design known as the Seven Grasses of Autumn, which is a traditional design dating back at least from 1,000 years and has sort of featured in Japanese poetry and Japanese art for all that period. But what we're seeing with this artist's interpretation is a modern take on a very traditional theme. Looking at what's inside the box, we have two items. We have the ink stone. This is what the artist or the, the user would take for rubbing an ink stick on the, the stone just to get the, the dust of the ink off the block. And the hole would be then diluted by water which is held in this water dropper. The water dropper, as you can see, is in the shape of a chrysanthemum, a very important plant in Japanese symbolism. And then the, the plants themselves are these seven traditional plants which always are associated with autumn, which for the Japanese is one of the most emotionally charged seasons of the year since they know that they are moving into the, the rigours of winter. So this piece would only have probably been used or shown during that autumnal period.